you never know what you'll find tucked away in an address book. When I was at Helene Hadsel's and I was getting the remains of her business files uh, to maintain her legacy, I found in her address book this letter to her from Paul Twitchell. Now, if you've read In Contact with Other Realms or Confessions of an 83-Year-Old Sage, you will know that she uh, became friends with Paul and he was the one that created Ekinkar. And so this was a letter from him after, spoiler alert, she had a car accident. And it's lovely that she kept it all this time. It's dated January 14th, 1968. Now he's got very interesting cursive writing and I did put this up on my blog so you could see it for yourself. And then I also wrote out uh, what I believe he said, cause there's about two or three words that I'm not even sure of. And I put it there for you to enjoy. The link will be below, but it says, dear Helen, but this is before she changed it to Helene. Gail and I are so regretful about your accident. But I want to tell you that please remember that all is going to be well with you. Our love surrounds and protects you. What a beautiful letter so far. Your recovery will be much, and this is the two words I have trouble with, it looks like better and faster than you think at this point. Helen, I told us about this in a recent letter over. We'll write again soon. We love you dearly and want you to enjoy the best of health from your troubles over to oh, turn your troubles over to my spiritual body and all will be well and happiness. With, uh, ha and happiness will love to you um, and you and your friends again or family again it's very it's extremely cursive I mean I can read cursive but his handwriting is very difficult to read Gail and I send our deepest love to you Pat and family I'm always with you affectionately, Paul. What a treasure to be found in her address book. And I'm so glad that she kept this letter from Paul Twitchell. And if you want to read more, you can uh, read about her adventures with him, as I said, in In Contact with Other Realms or Confessions of an 83-Year-Old Sage. And if I find anything else, you can be sure I'm going to share it. There's no gatekeeping here when it comes to uh, what treasures I find.